Not only did nobody call you... What? Neither I nor anyone in my comment section called you racist. I mean, when you bring that comment up out of nowhere, it just makes me think you might actually be racist. But let's move on. So, <sighs> Venezuela's... An interesting story, and it's not going to happen in Canada. That is a weak and lazy argument, but let's explain. So, Venezuela started off pretty good. Very strong and robust social programs. But they got oil. And they are not part of either NATO or the Commonwealth. So, the US and its imperialistic army doing what it does best. Stages a coup. Installs a puppet leader. And since Venezuela had installed such strong social programs but were overly reliant on the petrodollar during an oil boom, when that boom crashed, so did their economy. And then there are other various forms of interference throughout the world. You can't say that the problem with Venezuela was socialism. If you want to be factually accurate, the problem with Venezuela and their economy was that capitalism got in the way. Now let's discuss briefly, very vaguely, what socialism is. First of all, our fire departments, our infrastructure, our police, our ambulance, our healthcare, our education, are all aspects of socialism. Socially, we all pool our money together towards a service that we all use. And we in Canada pretty much live in a social economy already, an underfunded one but a social one at that. So, would you rather, as a taxpayer, if you're going to be paying taxes either way, would you rather it go to a massive corporation, give them another massive tax cut, so that their CEOs and people at the top can make more in one month than most of us would make in our entire lifetime of working? Or would you rather that money go to, and I don't even care how simplistic it is socially, we live in Canada, it's pretty cold here. Let's say we go to the extreme stupidity of every single coat that is made in Canada is free. I don't know how we'd do that. Maybe we'd have people that are on social assistance that are able to work get to go into this sweatshop kind of thing and make some coats. Get paid a living wage for it. I'd rather live in a world that doesn't prioritize stock buybacks, but rather prioritizes the well-being and welfare of all of its citizens. I don't know why that's controversial. And that is essentially the principle behind socialism. You can still be rich, but I want to make sure you fucking have a roof over your head and food. 